First, I want to get to Julian Sudor, who's monitoring a pretty big problem spot on I-85 this morning. Julian, what are we dealing with? Uh, well, we've been looking at this for probably about the past half hour here. This is going to be 85 southbound. If we can take our shot, our photojournalist Trevor Beck is out there. We have a uh, tractor trailer that's kind of turned on its side, overturned there. The good news is Medic is only reporting one person with non-life-threatening injuries, but the big problem here is going to be the amount of time it's going to take people to take them to clear this accident scene for you. This is near the Statesville uh, exit right there, as you can see on your screen. Traffic down to just one lane. I want to go ahead and take our picture here from the DOT camera. If I can show you guys this image right here. We've been watching them clean up this tractor trailer accident for, again, the past half an hour. As you can see there, traffic again down to one lane. We saw originally about three fire trucks on scene there, a bunch of police cars, and you can still see them kind of beyond this accident there. That's what we're looking at right here. And I want to show you something real quick. If I can walk over to my system and show you what they were doing. They were doing a lot of work right over here. If you can see these skid marks right over here, that's where they were working on to try to clear that area up. They had people with shovels clearing that area, clearing the debris off of there. So they still have a lot more work to do with that in terms of clearing that accident scene. But let's take a look at the speed map and see the backup here for that injury accident. You can see it stretching all the way here on 85 southbound. So you're also going to be talking about delays on Graham Street working around there. That whole entire area is going to be pretty much down to a standstill that one lane only getting uh, allowed to pass right there. So expect major delays in that area 85 southbound as you start your holiday travel. Also important to note, they say 11 a.m. is when they're going to get that peak time to start that Labor Day weekend travel. So as we get closer to that 11 a.m. mark, we're going to see more people on the roadway. So hopefully they'll be able to clear that accident scene and get traffic moving at a smooth pace there. But we're going to continue to monitor that. You can follow us at QCN Traffic on Twitter, our website QC. News. News.com for the very latest on this. Guys.